Beginning in the beautiful south, the Invercargill City Council is reminding people to be mindful when using water as the weather becomes warmer. The mercury hit 24 degrees Celsius at Invercargill and the council says there are no water restrictions in place just yet. In the middle of the island, the old wharf on the Wanaka lakefront became a prime spot for young people to launch themselves from during the heat of the day. The temperature of the lake has been rising steadily for weeks with locals and tourists alike taking full advantage. It's only three weeks since the mountains around town looked like this, with a late fall of snow hardly seeming likely to herald an exceptionally warm pre-Christmas spell of weather. Wanaka tourist bosses are expecting record numbers of tourists over summer. On the east coast at Dunedin, some in town were loving the conditions. Beautiful isn't it? This is a cracker day for Dunedin. We're having a big stretch of it too, which is excellent while others were forced out into the heat of the day when the Civic Centre complex was evacuated as fire alarms sounded. The South today understands liquid from an air conditioning unit was dropping onto sensors, triggering the alarm. Out at Dunedin's St Clair Beach, many people took advantage of the opportunity to walk, many of them with four-legged friends along the esplanade. Well, it's been good for like the past week or so, I suppose, and so yeah. But I think it's going to be a good summer. Yeah, lovely weather here. I've just flown down from Wellington this morning, so <laughs> great to be in Dunedin where it's um, stunning. Feels like summer. Oh, it's fantastic, and hopefully it's just the first day of many more to come. The unofficial temperature at St Clair in Dunedin this afternoon was a pleasant 26 degrees. Perfect weather for promenading with the pooch, hanging out at the cafes, or paddling out, ducking through waves, hunting for the big one. Darrell Bazer, The South Today.